I decided that I'm going to start doing food reviews, like vegan food, obviously, uh, of stuff that you can just find in a store or that I at least find in a store. Um, you might not be able to find it right away in whatever store you go to. You might have to like go to Whole Foods. I don't know. I'm going to try to stick to pretty common stores, um, mainly like Sprouts, I think is everywhere. Um, I'm going to just start trying to go to like just regular, regular stores find little vegan products and sample them review them and let you know whether to buy it or not um if it's worth your money i mean but then also don't take it from me because your palette could be different than my palette you know what i mean and then if you buy it let me know tag me if you decide to post it and give me your review i want to hear how y'all feel about it you know what i mean so let's get to it uh today we are trying Starlight Cuisine, I keep saying Starlight Cuisine, they make all these different, like they make taquitos, this, today we're trying to enchilada, y'all see that, look at that, enchilada, bean and cheese, vegan obviously, enchilada, um, at the Sprouts over here in Burbank, they have quite the selection for Starlight Cuisine, uh, you could also go to their website. Maybe you could order from them if you don't see this anywhere. But uh, I'm excited because I'm hungry and I like Mexican food. And this has all natural white corn tortillas filled with creamy pinto beans and vegan cheese topped with the traditional red sauce and vegan cheese. And that's it. Call me. Like, yo, hurry up. Come through. Pull up. All right. I got it. So this is a classic doesn't look anything like the box situation like this is what the box looks like beautiful look at that oh my god and then this is what it looks like in real life yeah but I mean it's the inside that counts right so let's see I was gonna add more cheese onto it because I really like cheese, but I'm gonna try it as is, and then maybe when I stop recording, I'll, uh, I'll do cheese. Let's see, this is hard. This is hard to cut. Of course, the tortilla is like impossible to penetrate. Demon. Hold on. <laughs> mm. Okay. So the outsides of the tortilla is, is hard. It's like it, they didn't get soft. I don't know. It's impossible to chew. But the middle, the middle thing is actually really good. Like the bean and cheese and stuff. It's actually really, really good. You just gotta avoid the hard tortilla part. Now, would you compare this to like? homemade or like a restaurant no this is just a frozen meal you put it was in the freezer you pop it in the microwave you pop it in the oven whatever you want and you eat it because you need food inside your system you don't eat this when you're looking for some something gourmet that doesn't make any sense you don't go to frozen food for a gourmet gourmet lavish like experience that's not what you do that's not it but this satisfies hunger you know what I mean well maybe I'm not done with it yet but it tastes good it tastes really good I don't hate it that's what I'm saying but you know what I like starlight cuisine this isn't the first thing I tried from the, the taquitos let me tell you I used to love taquitos when I was younger little frozen joints you throw them in the toaster oven you know what I mean and then they have 
vegan chicken taquitos and beef and they have like all these different taquitos and it's just like mad good so if you ever see that get them definitely buy them so good hmm who the fuck told me how to eat? Come on, hear my phone, but I don't see it. Hmm. Yo. So let me tell you. Mexican food, amazing. So simple. So simple. Everything's the same. Especially when you're vegan. Same ingredients, hella times in different ways with different names that's all it is and i'm okay with that hmm. all right so for this one since there's two enchiladas i'm gonna put cheese on top of it i'm gonna add some extra cheese let's see what happens see if it's like better see if it was necessary i mean it was good on its own but this one doesn't really have, have that much cheese so i want cheese i just realized that i probably messed up by putting it back in a microwave. First of all, I don't even like using microwaves to begin with. I hate microwaves. Like, if I had a toaster oven, toaster oven all day, every day, no matter what, toaster ovens are so much better. And they just cook stuff better. Microwaves, I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. But I used it. So, what do we do? But I put more cheese. <sighs> um, I use the cheese from Trader Joe's, the vegan cheese. I like the way that Trader Joe's vegan cheese melts. As far as the taste, I don't hate it. I actually really like it. Um, a lot of vegans be comparing, a lot of people in general just compare like vegan stuff to like regular stuff, regular dairy or whatever. I, I don't even remember what regular cheese really tastes like. Cause it's been a while it's been a long time so for whatever this is like it tastes good i'm into it i like it and i like that it melts like look at that like it really melts see that <laughs> that looked trash that was uh, disgusting look disgusting zooming but yeah all right let's see how it is with the extra cheese i gotta let it cool down Yes. Yes. This is so good. Yeah. Add some cheese on top of it. Uh oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, let me let me get in on this. Look at this one. Come in. <laughs> Go ahead and take that that piece right there. I can dabble on the next. One. It's legit. You don't want nothing to buy enchiladas. Yeah, let's see what you're talking about in here. Mm. It's hot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you it was hot. It's good. Once you get past the heat, the literal heat. It's alright. He's, he's a tough critic. Not comparing this to a restaurant, homemade, or anything like that. Remember. Frozen. Remember, it's frozen. It's all right. Imagine you were a teenage boy. You just got home from school. You popped one of these in the microwave, and then you sit down. And then you're going to wish you had a hot pocket instead. It's all right. I never really ate hot, po hot pockets. You never ate anything good, Sabrina. I also didn't like McDonald's <coughs> as a kid. Oh, what happened? My, mother, <laughs> my mother had to make home-cooked meals all the time. I'm out of here. Where are you going? I'm going to get some sick. Bye. Hey, okay. I'll miss you. Two and a half out of five. I'll miss you. Miss you already. I think it's pretty good. I'm also really hungry. It's probably trash. And I'm over here like, yes, this is so good. You you could have put anything in front of me and I was like, yes. So. But for me, for what it is, this is good. With the added cheese on top of it. This is good. This is a good meal. You want something quick. 
you know what I mean, real quick. You don't want to be too fancy. Just get something in your belly, warm and flavorful. You you eat this. It's a frozen meal. People don't understand. Stop being so picky. Everybody's so damn picky, man. Eat. You gonna eat whatever you have in the fridge. And if all you have is frozen enchiladas, that's what you're gonna eat. People are so picky. I'm talking like I didn't. I, I hated going to McDonald's. Like I'm sure I would have made my mom's life way easier if I was into eating at McDonald's but I just didn't like uh, as a kid I never liked McDonald's like I preferred rice beans and tostones all day every day as a kid tostones and the green ones not maduro like I'm talking about plantains for people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about well, let me eat this mm. Mm. I like it anyways so let me put y'all up on something, right? Everywhere I go these days, right? Besides the Dominican spot. People want to serve you plantains. And they'll be like, oh, we have plantains. And I'm like, oh, word. I want some plantains. And it's always sweet plantains. I don't like sweet plantains. Like, I might eat it because it's there. But I prefer green plantains. Like, fry them up. <laughs> Twice, because you have to fry them up to soften them, smash them, and fry them up again. Put some lemon juice and some uh, salt on it. Oh, that was that. <laughs> but, and then you make some little special sauce on the side. You put the little chimmy sauce. What chimmy sauce is, it's mayo and ketchup mixed together. If you want to talk about special sauce, Dominican's been doing that for dumb long. All right? And then, oh, you put some ajo. On the, on the plantain, so it's going to be lemon, garlic, that's what ajo is, ajo is garlic in Spanish, and some salt, listen, I'll smack everybody right now, I'll smack everybody right now, smack everybody in this apartment right now, for some plantains with ajo, lime, and salt, there's nobody in this apartment, so, they lucky, everybody lucky. And it's usually only one person in this apartment. It's just Tony. But I'll smack him for some plantains. I don't care. I don't care. All right. Let me let me get to the end of this review. All right. Um, out of five, I would honestly give this a two and a half. Yes, it's good for a frozen meal, but is it good? Am I going to be like obsessed and I'm, do I need it all the time? No, no, no. Their taquitos are way better. The taquitos are way, way, way better, but it's not bad. If you want some vegan enchiladas and you don't feel like slaving over a stove or anything like that, and you want the quick instant gratification and you just, you know, you just want it. Right then and there, you buy this, pop it in the microwave, and boom, you good. All right, so we don't, it is what it is, all right? Oh, my voice cracked. But, so if you see it and you're curious, try it. Add cheese on top of it, though. Like, heat it up, then add cheese towards the, towards the end, all right? Um, but yeah, so... Two and a half out of five. That's all it is. But thank you guys so much. If you have anything that you want me to try that's vegan, it has to be vegan, obviously. Don't hit me up talking about, yo, try on. Um, yo, try them Tyson uh, buffalo wings. No, honey. No. Mm -mm. Sorry, sweetheart. No. But, uh, yeah, if you... Are constantly seeing something or if like there's even if you don't know what it is exactly and you're like yo Sabrina can you hunt down some blah 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 and try it for me like whether it's ice cream please tell me to try ice cream for you cuz I'm I'm gonna end up doing it anyways but uh I'm just saying like whatever it is that you're curious about and you want me to give you my honest opinion about it hit me up comment below make sure you subscribe make sure you like 
and make sure you also follow me on other social media like instagram definitely follow me on instagram i am super active on instagram uh i always try to reply to everyone's comments as long as there's a reason to reply i'm not gonna reply to just nothing i'll like your comment but i'm not gonna reply like if there's no reason to reply i'm not gonna reply um and yeah just let's talk i'm here all right bye guys <laughs>